is up guys today we are gonna do a little bit of shopping so i thought we would do something different um one thing it's been a while since i've done is had a look at guitars online because as guitar players we love to shop for guitars and it's something i haven't done in quite a while so i don't know what's out there i don't know if there's anything decent out there so we're gonna have a look I've not really bothered looking for guitars online because, you know, I had my Chug V signature model made. I've got my Gibson V. Um, it's kind of everything I need. But, you know, I'm feeling it. So we're going to have a look today, see what guitars are on the market, see if there's anything that kind of, you know, tickles my pickle. Uh, I mean, the reason why I got the Chug V made was because there was nothing online that I really wanted to buy. You know, I wanted a flying V, but everything was too pointy. And uh, I wasn't feeling anything, so that's why I had the Chug V made. Uh, but today we're on uh, Guitar Guitar, as um, you'll see. And uh, Oh, hi Gerard. Oh, how can I help you today? Nothing. Fuck off. So, uh, we're on Guitar Guitar, uh, so let's just have a look. Let's have a look. What should we start with? Let's just. I'm going to start, I'm just going to search in Flying V. Because I love Flying Vs, so we'll see what comes up here. Okay. Uh, Epiphone Flying V, a bit, no, I don't like the, this, nah, nah, that, that, no. Uh, the Karina one, ugh, no, no. Dave Mustaine, definitely fucking not. Uh, let's have a look. Ah, this, this. No, I have, I, I, <laughs> I am partial to a Flying V. Um, I did come across this a few years ago, I think, a year ago or something like that. Um, I love my Flying Vs. I've got the uh, Gibson 120th Anniversary Flying V in black. I remember when that came out, I couldn't decide if to go for the black one or if to go for the cream one. But the, the cream one back then, it had the, the, the headstock. It was black on the front. It wasn't matching the body. But this one here, this 70s Flying V Classic, has got the color matching on the headstock and everything. And that is just a bit of me. £2,399 available to order. Sold! Hey, stick a super thanks thing on this video. To get enough people to super thanks and we'll buy this bitch. So straight away, yeah, I want that. That is just stunning. I love my flying Vs. It's kind of all you see on the channel. I mean, look. She, can, oh, she would get some damage. Should we zoom into the strap button? Because why not? Oh, but yeah, beautiful. Gibbo V. Why and then going down, what else we got? More Dave Mustaine. Fuck off, Dave Mustaine. You shit. <laughs> uh, Gibson. Oh, Gibson 80s Flying V Ebony. Let's have a look at this. £1,899. Jesus. Um, oh, let's have a zoom in. Ah, that's it's quite nice. It's pretty. It looks. It looks. Uh, do you, I don't know. It, I don't know what it looks like. It looks like a cheap. It looks cheap. But I know it's not, because obviously it's not, it's fucking £1,900. But it's, it's, uh, it's, why is, why is my laptop dying? Stop pressing my buttons. Um, it is quite nice. No pick guard, just, just straight body. Black, nice headstock. Ah, let's have a look at some more angles. I mean, it's nice. The thing is, with looking at guitars online, it's really... It's fucking... Why is it so bright now? Oh. Uh, we're looking at guitars online. The pictures never really do them justice, I find. It's so much better to actually see them in a store. But when you don't have access to the store, because they're all fucking miles away, the internet will have to do. Uh, but I quite like that. Um, I, I could make that work, I think. Okay. I don't think... I've seen... I've not seen this before. Oh, oh, who's got a spare 12 grand? Gibson Custom Shot Kirk Hammett, 1979V. I mean, that's the one, right? That's the one. They did make an Epiphone version, like a run of Epiphones. But that is just beautiful. Look at that. Oh, yeah. The, see, the headstock, the Flying V headstocks that are more rounded as opposed to pointed like my, my Gibson. I like the old school one. It just looks better. And you get a case with it. Yeah, that's nice. But it's also nearly £12,000, which uh, you could keep it. 
What else we got? Uh, olive drab, flying V. That's that's fugly. What is this? Oh, that's an Epiphone. Okay, that's gross though. That is a disgusting color. Ew! Uh, you got the Epiphone version of the Kirk one here. That's a little bit cheaper, one thousand ninety nine. Essentially the same thing, but made cheaper. You got the purple. The purpley. Is that it for flying V? Okay. You got the purpley sparkly one, which is kind of pretty. Definitely, definitely not for me. I could not pull off a sparkly purple guitar. Uh, Epiphone. Oh, fuck off, Dave Mustaine. Right, that's it. I'm done. I'm done with these flying Vs. There's too much Dave Mustaine. Okay, all right. Okay, flying Vs. There's, there's a well. There's two that I want. The cream Gibson, the seventies one. And uh, the Kirk Hammett one would be nice. Like I said, hey, super thanks down below in the comments. Every little helps. Uh, right, so let's go. Let's think ESP. Big fan of ESP guitars. Who else? Hands up. Yep, good. I've had a few of, well, not ESP. Well, I've had the ESP E2, which I no longer have. Uh, I've had a couple of the LTD James Hetfield Snake Bites, which I no longer have. But let's have a look. See if ESP have got anything exciting that pops out. I like the EC models, but I also like the Viper models, like the SG ones that are kind of cool looking. The screen keeps changing brightness, so if I look illuminated, that's why I look like a twat. Um, yeah, the the uh, the Vipers are really cool. You got obviously the Hetfield signatures, the Kurt, the KH two hundred twos. I mean, these are quite nice guitars. I did a review when I first started YouTube of a ESP KH doodah or something. But yeah, old school, look at these. £650. It's a lot of guitar for £650. But there's too much colour here. Too much colour. Ah, whoa, shit me. This is the one I had. This was the ESP that I had. Fuck me, I got rid of it. Why? Uh, the ESP E2. This has gone up in price since, since I bought it. And I think I bought it for like 1800 and the price of it now is 2500 That is fucked. Great guitar, though. It was a lot of guitar, I will say. Too much too much colour. What the hell? Uh, Iron Cross. Oh, this one. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, this is... This is... The E2, but in snow white satin. See, I like this. This is a bit of me. Guitars always got to be black or white, <laughs> or like a, a natural. But anything too colourful, I can't. And this is a Les Paul. Les Paul works for colour because it's kind of, it works. But when you're like rocking out and chugging, you know, I can't. But this is really nice. This is £2,400. Is that one picture? you got one picture of this guitar. Uh, ESP LTD EC256 Vintage Gold Satin. Now that is disgusting. See these ones, uh, these are guitars that I could, I really like, they look awesome, like it's a weapon. However, I like flying Vs, but I feel like the bodies on these are really small. Never played one, but they just feel, look like they're really small compared to like the normal kind of Vs, like the Gibson V. And uh, you just, there's just the, the, chance of looking like a bell end. They're all right, 690 pound. But again, too small the body, I feel. I don't know, I've never played one. It might be perfect. Fucking who knows. Kirk Hammett signature Vs. These are quite cool. Uh, I mean, that's very gold. I can't do gold. I can't, I can't, I just can't. Let's have a look. Oh shit. 30th anniversary KH3. Now this is a throwback to when I first got into Metallica, watching Cunning Stunts, and they come out and Kirk's playing this guitar. I don't know if he's playing this one, I can't remember. But it's on there. It's on Cunning Stunts, and back in the, um, at some point back then. Uh, this is nice though. This is just old school. Ah. Oh. Oh, see, oh, yeah. 1,440 pounds is not too, 450 pounds is not too terrible. Um, if I had the money, I would definitely buy it just because of the the nostalgia of, of, you know, of what it is. Again, fuck Floyd Rose. 
Ah ha ha ha, there's one, look at this. See, these are awesome. I love, I'm not, I've never been a big fan of SGs. But in the Viper range, it's like an SG, but a little bit more kind of evil. But that's nice. Even with gold hardware, it looks good. I'm not a big fan of gold hardware, but even that looks good. That's £1,500. There is a Viper that's like a, a purpley flame top one that I saw. A What the shit? Jawbreaker, ah, oh, it's just terrible. Isn't it? That is a fugly guitar for f four and a half grand. Okay, okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, what do we go? Should we get Epiphone? Should we have a look what Epiphone are putting out at the minute? Mm -hmm. Epiphone, just your standard Les Pauls. I mean, acoustics. I was looking into one of these ones because I want another Explorer. I love Explorers. Um, I mean, for 500, just over 500 quid, this this could work, you know, stick some EMGs in it, work it in, give it some battering around here, could work. Um, not bad, 520 pound, but Explorers are great, I like them because they're big guitars, you know, big guitars, bah, chug, you throw it around and just look awesome. I do like them. So again, if, uh, Super, super, are they super chats or special thanks? Is that, there's a button somewhere where you can donate. And we'll do it. <laughs> Epiphone, nothing really exciting from Epiphone, I think. I'm just going to throw, scroll through till I find something metal. Dave, Dave Mustaine, go away. Uh, the Matt Heafy uh, Les Pauls are, are okay. They're okay. In black, obviously better. Bone in white, bone white. Yeah. Oh, let's look. What was something? There it is. The uh, the Matt Heafy in black. See, this is quite cool. I had one of the Matt Heafy Epiphones a long time ago, and as guitar players do, we get rid of it, <laughs> um, which I regret. But I still know where it is because I sold it. Yes, found it. I found it. Chris Stapleton Epiphone. Look at it now. If you know, I love my country music. Uh, and I love Chris Stapleton. The Chris Stapleton Frontier Frontier Burst. See, that is that is pretty. Let's scroll through some pickies. Yeah. I've seen him play a few... Sh um, um, what do you call it? What does he do? I don't know. He plays. He's done a few where he's played the Epiphone. And it, it looks and it sounds... Good. Okay, Epiphone, you're boring me now. Let's go... Let's go... Sh oh, Schecter. Should we go Schecter? Let's go Schecter. What have Schecter got on offer right now? Ah, oh, just... Uh, so these uh, these Explorers by Schecter. I remember I was looking at one. It was like a, a, a an old rust finish. Oh, no, like some kind of finish. But it was really cool. Uh, but it was this shape. And it was just, you know... It, it, but it was discontinued. You couldn't fucking find it anywhere. But this is cool, nice colour, but again, Floyd Rose can suck it. Uh, ah, oh, oh, err. Schecter E1 SLS Elite Evil Twin Satin Black. That, that is a, that is, that is badass looking. I like it. I've never, I've never been too into Schecter over the years or ever, um, but. I do remember seeing these these kind of shapes, and again, explorers—they're just cool, aren't they? But that was nice, out of stock, one thousand four hundred pounds. Anything else? Oh, we got five pages of Schecter. Jesus, steady down, boys. Steady, steady down. I mean, the one Schecter's that I really want is some of the Zach Wild models, the Wild Audio stuff, which is obviously made by Schecter, which is super awesome. Uh, but yeah, Schecter just really doesn't have anything to offer. Okay, uh, thanks, Guitar Guitar. <laughs> Uh, no, Guitar Guitar are great if you're in the UK. Uh, super cool place to buy your guitars from. Um, good prices, good everything. Good, 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 good. And they even pop up when you don't want them to, to ask, how can they help? Oh, he's online as well. Where's he gone? Hey, Gerard. Okay, fuck off. So, guys, yeah, a little bit of guitar shopping online. Because, um, I mean, it's been a while. Um, I think I have all of them. The uh, the seventies classic V has got to be the one that I really desperately want more than anything ever. 
because it's just, it's old school and you know me, I love my Vs. Vs are guitars that sit with me really well, even if you're sitting, you're standing, you're running backwards, you're doing anything, a flying V works. If you haven't got a flying V in your collection, you should get one. Trust me, I'm a professional. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, a bit of fun, something a little different. Uh, shout out to this Metallica hoodie, anyway. Um, Subscribe if you're new. Comment below what guitars are you after? What guitars have you seen online that you really like, that you really want? Um, and uh, if you want to see another one of these where we'll look for like maybe certain guitars, either secondhand or like vintage -y shit, uh, we can do that. Because there's loads of guitars that have been discontinued for years, but you can find them on eBay and shit like that. Let me know. I had good, I, I had fun. Just shows me how uh, if I have no money. <laughs> <laughs> Stick a special thanks donation in the comments below. I'm sure we'll be able to get that V in no time. Okay, I'm kidding. Um, rock out, be awesome. I'll see you in the next one, guys. See ya. Fuck you, Dave Mustaine.